Tobel, Huyedach. Dear staff and students, this week we visited the University of Rwanda in Kigali. In the program of our visit to the University of Rwanda, I spoke about the fourth industrial revolution to both students and staff. The University of Rwanda is an impressive institution with impressive networks with leading universities around the world, such as the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Furthermore, Kigali is, in my opinion, the cleanest city in the African continent. And it is so dynamic that we, as South Africans, can actually learn quite a great deal about how to organize society. From this visit, we are going to arrange uh, the Africa by bus uh, program with the University of uh, Rwanda, where we are going to send a bus from Johannesburg to Kigali so that our students can be able to learn from how the Rwandese people have managed to organize such an impressive country and an impressive university. Tomorrow, Friday the 9th of August, marks the Women's Day in South Africa. This is an important day as we pay homage to the 20,000 women who marched to the Union buildings in 1956. This was as they confronted the apartheid regime and its segregation laws that unjustly classified citizens. In particular, the women were marching against the petty laws that required those classified as black to carry an identity document that was infamously known as the Dom Pass. Our country has come a long way from the time when women, like many in the world, were denied basic human rights, such as education, voting, and equal opportunities in the workplace. However, challenges remain. The advancement of women is still impeded by those who continue to cling to a patriarchal worldview. It is a travesty that most skilled positions are still filled by men while women are underrepresented at executive and board levels in nearly all our major companies. Similarly, our university is still faced with this challenge, although significant strides have been made to advance women's rights. Still on women issues, our university joins the world in mourning the death of world-acclaimed author Toni Morrison, the first African-American to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. She died on Monday, the 5th of August 2019, following a short illness with an illustrious literary career spanning over six decades. Morrison wrote as many as 11 novels, many of them on her life as a black American. Later during the year, I will be reading one of her books called The Beloved as part of the VC Reading Club. We hope her renowned work continues to reverberate into the future and inspire many of you. As I mentioned last week, the Library and Information Center at our Kingsway campus will be commemorating Women's Month today by hosting authors Jackie Pamuzi and Vanessa Gavender, who will be discussing their respective books. Quite a few other events in celebration of women's achievements and contributions in various fields are scheduled for the rest of August. I hope that these talks will inspire you to unleash your power and contribute efforts to change the world for the better. Speaking of achievements, please join me in congratulating Professor Alita Prince Luo, our professor in the Department of Physics, for her professorial inauguration, which took place on Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2019. 
Professor Prince Luo's inauguration address was titled, More than 20 years of chromium-based research, a personal perspective. In her career, she attracted several research grants, including a UNESCO Roster Travel Grant from IUPAP in 2002 and an incentive funding for rated researchers from 2010 to 2018. She also obtained various high-level NRF research travel grants over the years among her many achievements. Congratulations, Professor uh, Prince Law, for leading us into the physics world. Fellow colleagues, the Johannesburg Business School extends an invitation to the Women Entrepreneurship and Leadership for Africa program that is scheduled for the 31st of August 2019 in China. This is a practical hands-on program that examines the opportunities, issues, and challenges that women face in creating, managing, and leading successful companies in the continent of Africa. It is particularly designed for women entrepreneurs to enable them to identify business opportunities as well as maintain viable and sustainable enterprises. On a different note, it is necessary for us to share our expertise on how learners choose careers that will fulfill their lives. UJ annually invites grade 9 learners as well as their parents and teachers to listen to our student marketing experts who guide them on how learners can make better subject choices while they are still in school. On Tuesday, the 6th of August 2019, UJ held the Grade 9 Subject Choice Seminar, which helps to prepare learners to enroll in the right courses in higher education institutions. On Wednesday, the 7th of August 2019, we also hosted 516 best performing grade 12 learners at our Top Achievers Open Day. The seven UJ faculties and the College of Business and Economics exhibited their course offerings, sharing information on the opportunities our university offers to its students. Our university recognizes the achievements and hard work of alumni who have made significant contributions in their respective fields. Annually, we honor such individuals by awarding them the prestigious UJ Dignitas Awards. UJ alumni refers to any person who has obtained state subsidized qualification from the University of Johannesburg, the former Rand Afrikaans University, or the Technicon Vetvatesrand. I hope that you have nominated your preferred candidates following the call for nominations of deserving individuals. The awards will be presented later this year. Lastly, some of you may be traveling to various places this long weekend. Your safety continues to be our concern. And I urge you to exercise the necessary caution on the roads. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our social media pages for regular updates on university news and information. Have a great long weekend and take care. Thank you. Siya bonga. Bye, danke.